Good morning, Chairman, sir, officials from BFRDA, NBS Trust, NBS Ecosystem from Pension Funds, ASPs, CRAs, POPs, and the Trustee Bank, officials from asset management companies, insurance companies and banks, media persons, well wishers, and media colleagues from CAMS. My name is Kamla Radhakrishnan, and I've been with CAMS for over 12 years now. On behalf of CAMS, I extend a very warm welcome to each one of you for taking time out today and attending this event. Launching the CRA is a new chapter for all of us at CAMS, and we are immensely grateful that we are able to do this in your August presence, though virtually. On that note, I now request Anuj Kumar, our Managing Director, to deliver his message. Thank you. Dear Chairman, officials from PFRDA, officials from the NPS Trust, NPS Service Partners, officials from AMCs, media persons and well-wishers, it is a pleasure and privilege today to welcome you to the launch ceremony of CAMS's NPS CRA business. With lots of pride, I also want to share with you that CAMS recently completed 35 years of serving the Indian BFSI sector across various constituents of the BFSI sector, but especially focused on capital markets and on mutual funds. Just yesterday, we celebrated 25 years of partnering with a very prominent mutual fund in the country. It is indeed a momentous occasion for us, a significant milestone in a long journey. And it is with the same desire that we are commencing our journey as being a CRA for the National Pension Trust. Our engagement to serve the NPS market actually started several years back when we were serving as a POP for NPS. As a POP, we got a very close-up view of the entire marketplace, the opportunities, and uh, various modes in which we thought we could help scale up the market. And that kind of uh, steeled up our determination. And we saw that we were aligned completely uh, to the way we run operations for the mutual funds market. My team and I are therefore deeply grateful for the authority for appointing CAMS as the third CRA for the national pension system. Uh, in the category of retirement solutions, as you know, NPS has been the most progressive and pioneering solution. It has introduced a multitude of subscriber-friendly conveniences, features, and choices, and has demonstrated good returns. Visibility and awareness building have also been increasing progressively, and we see the impact of this in the growing subscriber base in a country which perhaps has the largest workforce employed across sectors globally. Retirement planning is really underserved. There is great potential and a headroom to grow the NPS segment and to grow APY. And therefore participating in this opportunity is really exciting for us. As a CRA, what will be our core objectives? And I will list out three in order. We will play the role of a catalyst and assist PFRDA in the growth of the overall NPS category. And we will help in meeting the objectives of NPS of bringing financial security for the retirement years of Indian citizens. Uh, we will bring customer friendly new generation technologies and applications and elevate the service standards and experience that investors enjoy. And we will engage with the ecosystem participants to bring greater efficiency to their operations. With a lot of confidence, I can say that we have the capability, the experience and the attitude to make meaningful contribution to all these three areas. CAMS has been down a similar path with the asset management industry and has supported the evolution of mutual funds to grow into a 39 trillion Indian rupee industry. And we are committed and determined to writing out a similar playbook for NPS in India. CAMP CRA will service all segments across all citizens, corporate sector, 
government and the atal pension yojana entering the field as a third cra we are focusing on building uh, high impact differentiators for each of these segments which will also assist all the other service partners similar to the pioneering innovations that we have made in a very sustained way in the mutual funds industry and the way we have set up service benchmark we will bring our technology led innovations focus to make enrolling into nps managing the account and exiting at retirement a simple digitally enabled and seamless process today as part of the camp crl launch we are introducing enps for direct subscribers at camps nps.com this will be followed with the pop platform that would help the points of presence expand the market and soon then we will enter the government and the apy sectors uh, we are very hopeful of making meaningful contributions to this marketplace the entire platform is going to be hosted on a cloud infrastructure a first a very first in the nps ecosystem i will now request respected chairman pfrda to address us and unveil camp cra for the indian citizens thank you very much uh good morning good morning mr anuj kumar for giving uh, introduction to camps and the cra functions that you are going to start today and going to continue for a long long time to come Uh, ladies and gentlemen present today uh, i am very happy to be uh, associated with this program and uh, we have chosen camps as the third cra cra stands for centralized record keeping agency uh, and i am very happy that uh, camps is going to launch their uh, online onboarding today as i understand on 7th of march uh, you have done a soft launching and i have seen every day as the mis comes some few numbers are getting here and there but uh, with the actual launching today i believe uh, you will get good number of people because as i see over the years and i have closely followed it for last 7 to 8 years is that the awareness in pension segment also is going up which was abysmally low maybe 7 8 years back but slowly with the uh efforts that is being made by pfrda and its associated intermediaries the level of uh information about pension and the utility of pension it has really gone up quite a bit current year also as i am talking if you look at pure nps uh despite seeing two two waves of uh, pandemic during this year one during the earlier part almost two two and a half months were lost and again Uh, during the later part of the year still we see 45% increase in the onboarding and uh, that is in the corporate and the uh, retail segment and that is the segment that we are targeting in a big way because so far as government employees are concerned after a particular cut off date whoever is recruited they have to necessarily join and in this particular retail and corporate segment if we look at it in last 4 years the number of customers joining the growth rate has gone up by almost three times and uh, i believe the way things are going and if it really goes well this year itself we'll see 1 million new customers uh, joining uh, nps if you look at pfrd pfrd is the only authority which focuses on retirement and retirement solutions today large number of our workforce they are in the unorganized sector and they more than they are organized sector counterparts i believe they need a retirement solution a retirement benefit even more and i believe the kind of uh, arrangements that we have made with uh, uh, unbundled structure that is really helping us in getting to even unorganized sector in a big way of course they are apy also is helping us in a big big way apy we are planning 10 million customers this year new customers this year and we are very close to that i am very happy to say that 
CRA, as we all know, those who are working in PFRDA, NPS Trust, and and the uh, and the pension fund management ecosystem, plays a very very important role. I often call it that they are the fulcrum of the entire system, because uh, through which all the data passes to different entities like whether it is a trustee bank, whether it is a pension fund manager, and they are connected with the points of presence, which are our distribution channels. So if the CRA does not function even for a day, the entire system will come to a halt. So whenever we choose a CRA, we are very, very careful. And we see that the best of the players in that particular market, they come and join us. That's why we have kept a very high entry barrier kind of thing, so that only the best in the game, they can come and join it, join it here. 35 years of background that CAMS has, and we know that the role that they are playing in the mutual fund industry, I believe they are, they are as a registrar and transfer agent, uh, they are having more than two third share of the market today. It's a large share and in a computer market having this kind of share that talks enough about their capability and, and uh, their presence. So I believe with CAMS coming in, uh, they will also create a lot of awareness as uh, Mr. Anuj Kumar was rightly telling, with more and more players coming in, the kind of awareness that will be created in the markets uh, will go up and they will ensure that the journey that a customer has in the entire their NPS uh, lifetime from joining the uh, accumulation until exit, they have a very, very uh, smooth journey and a smooth exit from the system, almost a seamless exit from the system when they retire and go out of this uh, uh, pension scheme. So I wish CAMS all the best and I'm very happy uh, to launch their ENPS service today. Thank you. CAMS, a name synonymous to mutual fund industry, has been an essential financial infrastructure of India for over two decades. Our technology and services power the operations for over 140 financial institutions. Engaging as a catalyst to the mutual funds, we have grown to become the largest technology platform and service partner to asset management industry. Technology is at the core of CAMS and it serves millions of customers across the country through various touch points. Performing under multiple regulators, CAMS brings high standards of governance and oversight to its operations with the single goal of offering complete peace of mind to all stakeholders. And now, CAMS is set to write a new chapter in its history, joining the NPS ecosystem as a central record-keeping agency. India's journey to financially secure the retirement life of its citizens is making significant strides under the ages of PFRDA. With continuous enrichment to product features, unmatched tax benefits, high returns and digital services. NPS is emerging as an attractive retirement solution enabled by the ecosystem of committed participants. CAMS CRA will imbibe the technology-led innovation culture of the company to pioneer initiatives for subscribers and the ecosystem partners and support manifold growth of NPS. CAMS CRA is poised to implement PFRDA's vision. 
excellence in service deliver multimodal service increase operational efficiencies of the nps ecosystem promote digital service delivery evangelize benefits of nps enable every indian to have a financially secure retired life and propel the growth of nps camps our mission your growth hello friends i hope you like the audio visual this is indivar krishna business head for camp cra thank you very much chairman sir that was one inspiring address about the nps now the next chapter is a small role play i play the role of an individual who's planning to subscribe to nps and lo behold i get the opportunity to ask the chairman of pfr a few questions to improve my understanding of nps so it's a kbc moment for a small individual subscriber like me sir first question i have decided to save some money and invest in my future but there's so many products to choose from nowadays fixed deposits mutual funds nps epf insurance and so on and so forth so simple sa sawal hai why should i choose nps sir yeah as you as you uh, indiva rightly said that there are many options available to an individual so why come to nps uh, the unique part of nps is that if i uh, tell you in one word is that possibly this is the only scheme financial product which is available today which uh, actually allows anybody to save for a retirement and for old age security which is absolutely required today in in, in india also because uh, two things uh, basically what is happening is that that uh, if you look at the indian longevity also and the uh, experience that even actuaries are having that uh, today a person even after reaching the age of uh, 60 is living for another 20 years maybe second part that i want to say that the joint family system is breaking down so one has to really provide for themselves and the lifestyle does not change so obviously your expense pattern expenditure pattern will remain almost the same that you had during your lifetime so unless you make a conscious effort to save money for the retirement then obviously uh, it will be very very difficult at that point of time so that 40% compulsory annuitization is kept only for that purpose that whatever you have uh, at the end of your journey in nps in your entire accumulation phase out of that 40% has to be necessarily annuitized and this ensures that you have a long term lifetime uh, secured income so without that maybe if i need money the entire corpus that i have at the end of my retirement period it will be frittered away so i don't uh, have that kind of a security so this is i believe the most unique thing that is there in nps which is not there in other products because other products are meant for many other things but there are uh, 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 pension related products in other segments also but they are also you have early access to the funds but here entire one pension account we are not giving early access to a great extent we allow early withdrawal three times partial withdrawals only but that to to a limited extent because of this other than that there are exclusive tax benefits which are not there in uh, other products like ftccd 1b that 50000 extra tax benefit that you get this is also a triple e product people do not understand people say that 60% withdrawal is only tax free but 40% that is annuitized is not tax free that is not true what comes out of annuity is taxable but when you convert that 40% to annuity it is absolutely tax free so at the point of receipt uh, nothing is taxed and whenever uh, nps amount goes and to buy an annuity that 1% 1.8% gst which is otherwise there 
is also waived by government of india so that gives an additional advantage so all taken together i believe this is the reason which makes nps unique and i believe this is very very important for everybody that like other financial products this is one thing that you cannot avoid and should not avoid sir thank you very much um, i think uh, uh, i think it is a clear understanding that nps is still the main towards retirement you also uh, described the tax efficiency bit so thank you very much i now know more about nps than earlier but before i invest a substantial part of my money i find that the product has many features and i am unable to decide how much to allocate into equity government etc without understanding the underlying nature of these features so how can you help me on this please yes actually we thought about it uh, there are a few people who can really uh, make a conscious judgment as to how much money should be put in equity uh, government securities or corporate debts and all that a different kind of asset classes so what we have decided is that if you are not able to decide you take a default fund and the default fund is constructed like this is that uh, a, we call it a life cycle fund because uh, normally it is understood with age going up a person's risk taking ability comes down so when you start early in your life it will be 50% equity and that 50% equity allocation remains up to the age of 35 and thereafter as the age goes up your equity allocation comes down and your corporate bond allocation comes down what goes up is the government security allocation so it so happens that without your active intervention with every birthday the system will adjust and at the age of 55 you will come to a situation when your equity allocation is just 10% and 10% in corporate bond and 80% is given to government security where only you run the risk of interest uh, you don't have even any credit risk also so that way it is designed so if somebody is really not knowing where to put better you come to the default fund and after being there in the system once you start learning the processes and you feel that no i am little confident now then you can always change that it's not that once you have decided your asset allocation it remains constant forever you can always change that and you go over to whatever active mode we call it whatever active uh, asset allocation choice that you did so thank you very much in fact it is uh, heartening to hear that uh, the system has thought through uh, you know what an individual subscriber like me should be doing and also has given the flexibility and options over a period of time to be able to make the relevant choices for my lifestyle needs so thank you sir next question is a little different i just wanted to hear a few thoughts from you on what is the impact to nps uh, subscriber experience or a customer experience during this pandemic over the last few years yeah last two years uh, one thing that uh, that we have watched and accordingly we have also changed is that uh, uh, physical onboardings are getting lesser obviously because uh, there are a lot of restrictions as we have seen in during the first and the second wave and maybe during the third wave also there were a lot of restrictions on movements travels and all that so people coming to directly to the distribution channel uh, giving their physical forms and all that that uh, was affected to to some extent but to a great extent that was compensated by the online onboarding modes that we have seen and i can tell you that almost last two years that we have seen the pandemic and such uh, difficult conditions not for a single month our onboarding month on month basis or even compared to pre pandemic period has gone down rather it has gone up and as we are talking today i have already told that uh, visa v last year entire 12 month period as we are talking today maybe our total onboarding has gone up in numbers by 45 46% uh, 
so that shows that awareness is also uh, coming and because of the on onboarding through online channels uh, becoming more and more popular i believe more than 40% customers are coming through uh, online channels and from the safety of their home they can log in they can sit and they can choose their fund managers they can choose their asset allocation and they are coming and doing it so this is uh, what has really happened and it has not affected our onboarding or our numbers in any way uh, till now interesting sir uh, <clears throat> so it essentially means that i can manage uh, my own account without paper right through the life cycle so that is quite uh, you know uh, heartening uh, i also heard a lot about the tier 2 account which comes along in the account of opening tier 1 account so is it okay if i start uh, you know using the tier 2 account like a savings account in the sense that you know i can deposit my surplus money and you know withdraw it any time you know giving myself the flexibility without locking it in is that okay sir yeah so exactly tier 2 is for the um, exactly the same pers- purpose that you have pointed out is that uh, it, it is a sort of a, a substitute for your savings bank account or maybe it is a substitute for the normal bank fds that a lot of people purchase or maybe it can as i look and compare the returns it can be even a substitute for your liquid mutual funds because it gives you a lot of options one option is that again suppose tier 2 you can open only when you have a active tier 1 nobody can have a tier 2 just like that so once you have a tier 1 active then only you go and open a tier 2 your tier 1 your asset allocation choice and your fund manager choice need not be same as in tier 2 there you can have separate options also secondly you can withdraw the money at any given point of time no questions asked all the units you can redeem and you can go out if you want to redeem partially you can redeem partially you can go out third option and most interesting option is that close to retirement you feel that you don't need that kind of a, a redemption or lump sum cash at one go you can transfer the balance units in your tier 2 to tier 1 also so that becomes your pension account and out of that again 40% will be annuitized so that your pension quantum also can go up so throughout the lifetime you keep your tier 2 alive you never know when your lump sum cash is required but once you uh, reach the end of your journey in the sense that you are retiring then you transfer if you wish otherwise you can always withdraw so all these options are available and i believe instead of keeping money in fd and uh, savings bank account more and more people those who are having nps account should try to look into the benefits of um, tier 2 uh, nps tier 2 and we have seen the m- most of the growth uh, last one year at least is coming in nps tier 2 lots of people i believe they are uh, slowly becoming aware of it and they are uh, joining tier 2 in a big number Great, sir. Thank you very much. And one last question: uh, What else is new from NPS in the year ahead, FI twenty three? See, Bob. Every time we are thinking that about the uh, new things that uh, we can do, like uh, a large num a number of our constituents are from uh, government of India. So, for government of India, also we are making some changes where they can suppose uh, post retirement also. we see that lot of people they want to continue in this system so currently we have given an option that people can stay invested even up to the age of 75 and they can join up to the age of 70 also so government uh, servants who are retiring at the age of 60 if they want to stay in the system uh, we are allowing them to stay not only they, uh, they are allowed to stay but they can they can carry on with their default investment pattern their e- default investment pattern is only 15% in equity and balance 85% will be in uh, fixed income securities so if they wish that at that point of time they don't want to 
take more risk and they are happy with the default investment pattern they can stay with the default uh, investment pattern uh, we are already working on a minimum assured return scheme already a consultant is uh, engaged they are working on it uh, in next uh, few months time i believe it will take some time uh, we'll have a minimum assured return scheme that was a mandate under our act and we are working seriously on that to see that even in a market linked scheme we can give some kind of a guarantee the guarantee need not be a fixed guarantee we are open to it that it can be a market linked guarantee also and it can be reset maybe at the interval of every year so that kind of guarantee also we are going to look at and if it comes out it will be a sort of a very unique kind of product because you can in a country like india we find that lot of people seek guarantee knowing fully well that guaranteed products come at a huge cost but still people seek guarantee under different kind of uh, conditions so i believe uh, people will have that choice also then uh, of course uh, through mobile app uh, uh, onboarding that that also is something which is pending for some time that also definitely will be doing now nps uh, we have already taken up with uh, sebi that it will be part of your consolidated account statement as they call it cash it will be part of this thing so at a uh, one place you will get all the data of your financial investments so these are a few things and apart from that our efforts are going on to ensure that uh, at least a part of the annuity is made tax free because as you know today the annuity income is taxable according to the tax bracket that the annuitant is at at a particular moment so that we are trying and at the same time uh, we are trying to see that uh, if uh, uh, employers also contribute 14% up to 14% of the salary of the employees if uh, that also can be made tax free the way it is now made for central government and state government employees so all these efforts are on from our side also as and when it comes uh, obviously we bring it out and tell public in general and settlement cycles also we are trying to bring it down and we are trying to follow the mutual fund pattern also to ensure that those who are already accustomed to mutual fund settlement systems when they come they will see that uh, uh, nps also gives them the same benefit and the same flexibility so these are few of the things other than that lot many things are going on so i thought some of the important things that i should share with you sir thank you very much exciting times ahead really plenty yes this is the end of our uh, question answer session uh, thank you very much uh, for patiently answering all these questions sir thank thanks you. a lot thank you thank you indiv thank you and uh, after this we'll play a short hi um on this occasion of uh, the launch of cam cra i just wanted to wish uh, cams and the entire team the very best of luck uh, uh, retirement is a is a growing space and uh, it's it's becoming very very exciting and the entry of a new player uh, like cams on the cra side i believe is only going to help in enhancing uh, or growing this industry further and uh, we really look forward to working uh, together in making sure that the industry grows so that it benefits uh, everybody uh, all the very best to the entire team and uh, uh, let's scale uh, new heights uh, together all the very best hi hearty congratulations to the camps team on launch of cra for nps i'm sure that given the team's vast experience in rta services uh, camps will certainly be able to make a significant impact on the development of Uh, the pension industry in the country best wishes for a great launch and a fulfilling journey ahead all the best hi everyone this is sandhya upadhyay from birla pension heartiest congratulations to the camps team uh, for going live our, all our best wishes from the entire aditya birla pension management team thank you all the best to the entire camps team Congratulations for going live. The entire team wishes you, or the pension fund, the POP team wishes you all the best. 
All the best. Hi, this is uh, Anurag Sumani from Eureka Stock and Share Broking Services, Kolkata. Just heard about the Camp CRA launch. It's uh, great news for the entire NPS industry. Uh, wishing Camp's team all the best for this initiative going forward. Thank you. Congratulations to the Camp CRA team on the launch of the NPS. I'm sure you'll make a tremendous impact on the pension industry. All the best for your future. Chairman, sir, we thank you for gracing this occasion. Listening to you is an absolute delight. Every time we gain new insights on how nicely the product has evolved over the years. NPS is fast becoming a must-have product for every Indian citizen, and you have nicely elucidated how. Thank you very much, sir. We also thank all the PFRD officials, and many of you are here, who have helped Camp CRA gain a foothold in the pension space. We are especially grateful to the NPS Trust, Sri Sashi Krishnan and his team, with whom we work closely. We are actually charged up when we meet with each of you, PFRDA and NPST officials, because we gather a lot of insights and advice with speed and agility. Thank you, all of you, again. To you all participants in this event who have taken the time out today and sent congratulatory mails to wish us all success, a big round of thanks. We are taking a bow and also giving you a standing ovation from all of us at Camp CRA. Especially, I like to call out a long list. Please bear with me. It's a long list of our working partners in this ecosystem who have coached us at every stage of Camp CRA inception and are now helping us complete the subscriber transactions end to end, providing a wholly digital experience to the subscribers. Thank you, points of presence, POPs, and thank you all banks. Uh, thank you, Trusty Bank, uh, Bandana Roy, Alok Shivasta, Umkar, Savita Hegde, Jogi Saw from Access Bank. Thank you, fellow CRAs, Protian, PCRA, Prasanjit Mukherjee, Kamalam Venkateshan, Sudan Shushtekar, Swita Nair, Vishal Jain, and Rahul Goel from PCRA. Thank you, KFintech, Chetna Malani, Siddharth Gautam from KCRA. Thank you, all pension funds, Anurag Goswami and Ankit Gupta from Aditya Birla, Prakash Kanse and Vishal from HDFC Pension, Urmi Sukhija and Kushal Rathi from IPRU, uh, Tota Shweta Rani from Kotak, Prasad Thakur, Ketan Prandre from LIC Pension Fund, Pratik Pal and Rima Joshi from SBI Pension Funds, Ashish Parmar from UTI Retirement Solutions. Thank you all. And coming to uh, annuity service providers, ASPs, thank you very much. Samit Bhakchi and Amit Gaikwad from Bajaj Alliance, Hartpreet Singh from Canra HSBC OBC, Prachi Shroff and Benu Singhal from Edelweiss Tokyo Life Insurance Company, Ranbir Dhariwal and Onkar Praveen from HDFC Standard Life, Manoj Jaiswal and Rupali Srivastav from India First Life, Supti Buraste and Deepak Gupta from Kotak Mahindra Life Insurance Company, Akshay Gupta, Krishna Kumar from Max Life, and Rohit Rakesh, PNB Met Life, Mukesh Roth from SBI Life, Karun Bata from Star Union Daichi Life Insurance Company, and Keith Reddy Jeshwan Reddy from Tata IIA Life Insurance. Uh, sincere apologies uh, if I have missed out any name, but thanks to you, uh, because uh, there's a lot of collaboration across the industry, which we are now a part of. So with that, we have now come to the end of this event and beginning of our journey. Once again, Anivad, Alvida, and happy Holi to all of you this weekend. Thank you very much.